More than 100 suspected drug offenders have been arrested in a major operation carried out over five days. The youngest is a 17-year-old Singaporean girl. Officers from the Central Narcotics Bureau also recovered more than six kilograms of heroin and over 20 kilograms of cannabis. Leong Jiayu with this report. The assortment of drugs seized had an estimated street value of $1.2 million. And the amount was enough to feed about 6,000 abusers for a week. The police struck island-wide in places like Ang Mo Kyo and Bukit Batok. Three men were arrested in the vicinity of Marine Crescent. Ice, along with various drug paraphernalia, were seized. Two of those arrested turned out to be father and son. But the largest haul was discovered the next day. Officers raided areas in Bendemeer Road and Braddock Hill and seized over 20 kilograms of cannabis. I'm on Braddock Hill and it was on the ground floor of one of the apartment blocks in this vicinity where CMB officers arrested a 24-year-old Malaysian man. They recovered around 950 grams of heroin and 4 kilograms of cannabis from him. He was then escorted to his hideout where they found even more drugs. Around 4.2 kilograms of heroin and 16 kilograms of cannabis were seized. Authorities say they had targeted a syndicate that was distributing large amounts of drugs in Singapore. Singapore has an open economy, we are an international transportation hub, and we are close to major drug-producing regions. Therefore, we are in constant danger of being overwhelmed by an influx of narcotics. This latest haul helps disrupt the supply of drugs in Singapore, but CMB will keep up the pressure on drug syndicates. We also continue to have operations targeting drug abusers to control the demand within Singapore. Investigations are ongoing. If a person is found guilty of trafficking over 15 grams of pure heroin or 500 grams of cannabis, they may face the death penalty.